Welcome to Canning What's Your Girl. I'm Holly Baird. This show is presented to you by the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener.com. Well, today we're making honey lemon apple jam. Now, some people have their own apples in their backyard or their orchard, or maybe you have some citrus in your ba backyard also. So this is something that you can make whether you have some apples that you bought at the store that you need to turn, you need to get rid of, or maybe you do a lot of apple harvesting and it's a good option for you. So what we did is we peeled with our crank peeler six cups of apples, which is about three and a half pounds. And we're gonna let that cook down, but first we have to zest and juice four lemons. So I just simply take a dish, I take my microplane, and what you wanna do is you just want to grind it on there until you get to the white part. Once you get to the white part, then you're done. So you just do as much as you can from each lemon. And you have to press a little firmly. So you just go ahead and do that. And once we get all four of these done, we're gonna juice them into the pot so we can get it on the stove. So now we're just getting the last of the lemons here juiced. And I just use my citrus press for this. You could use a regular citrus juicer if you had one, but this works just fine and just make sure you squeeze it all out. And now we're gonna get this on the stove so it can cook down. Okay, so now we've had this on the stove for about 20, 25 minutes or so, and the apples have cooked down quite a bit. They're quite smushy. So I'm just gonna take my potato masher and I'm gonna mash them a little bit. Now you don't really want to turn this necessarily into applesauce, but you do want them to be, you know, kind of smushed down. So just like that. Okay, so then at this point, we're gonna add our pectin. You wanna add one package of pectin for no or low sugar recipes. And you just wanna sprinkle it around. And you wanna give it a good stir. Okay, so we've stirred that around. So now we're gonna add the honey. You have a half a cup of honey. And, and we use uh, raw local honey that we pick up from the, the beekeeper. Then you want to add your sugar. We have two and a half cups of organic cane sugar, fair trade, non-GMO. Then you want to stir this and increase your heat to about medium high. Okay, so now we've let the jam, we end all, added the sugar and all that. We've let the jam cook for about five to ten minutes on medium high. As you can see, it's getting quite sputtery and hot. We did a little test to see if our jam set. And as you can see, it's clearly set. So we're gonna go ahead now and we're gonna turn our heat off. We're gonna add our lemon peel, or our lemon zest. Give that a stir. And then we're gonna get our jars filled here. All right, so we're getting our last one filled here. And you want to have one quarter inch headspace. So, yep, there we are. Don't forget to take a clean towel and wipe your rim off so you can get a proper seal. And then we get ourselves a lid. Get that on there. Get the ring on. And we're gonna go ahead and get that in the canner. Our water is boiling, so we're gonna start the timer at 10 for 10 minutes once I get this in there. Okay, it's in. We got our lid on, and in 10 minutes our jam will be ready. Okay, so we time's up, 10 minutes has gone past, and we're just getting the last jar out. Gotta make sure you got a good grip on your jar with your tongs. You want to put them on a towel so they're not on a direct cool surface. So there you have honey lemon apple jam. It's something that you can make from items that you may already have in your house or you can pick up easily at the store. And like I said, you want to make sure that you listen for the seal. If they don't seal, you can either reprocess them within 24 hours or just use, put in your fridge and keep them in there for about a week or two. I'm Holly Baird and this has been Canning What You Grow.
To see all of the Canning What You Grow video series, you can visit our website, which is thewisconsinvegetablegardener.com, and you click on the Canning What You Grow icon. Thank you.